Why are we eating cookies that are made with sunflower seeds? You're not supposed to be looking at the ingredients. That's part of five things. We're supposed to eat it like sight unseen. Fancy pants. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So, we were in Whole Foods, and I found these cookies. We are in the middle of filming a vlog. Rachel had no idea that I was sticking them in the cart. Right. Like a child. She usually doesn't like me buying this kind of stuff. She's like, uh, what are you doing? Because sometimes I just find things in the store... And we purchase them on our own to be like, hey, Let's should try we try this? Because you guys may see it and you want to know, like, is it any good? Like that milk that we found, right? That keto milk. Yeah. Like they did not send that to us. We, we just purchased it. it on our own because we found it. And we're usually very suspect of things that say keto or keto friendly on them. Yes. And I did quickly in the store glance at the ingredients and I was like, wow, like, are these going to taste like garbage? <laughs> yeah, because it's weird. I don't think I've ever seen a cookie that's made out of sunflower seeds, ground sunflower yeah, seeds. Yeah, so we got two kinds. We got double chocolate. And we've got chocolate chip. Which one are we going with first? Mm, I think chocolate chip. Chocolate chip it is. Right? Shouldn't that be the test of a cookie? Do they have a good chocolate chip? I've always liked chocolate chip cookies. The other ones are kind of like, yeah. I actually, when I was a kid, I used to like those. Remember those chocolate cookies that came in a little box, like the animal crackers? Ooh. <laughs> no? They smell a little like a pet food. No. They smell yes. like, they smell like. They smell like something like, that we would they give smell like to a Grayson. Pet food. They smell like a pet. They smell like bird food. They smell like Grayson's food. Yeah. But well, that makes sense because he does eat a lot of sunflower seeds. Okay, well, you let's dink go. It? Dink it. Boop. It's interesting. It definitely tastes like sunflower seeds. It definitely tastes like what I would picture in my mind if if Grayson was having a birthday party and we were making a cake for him so that he could I also could enjoy it. Like, I could enjoy these. Maybe if you don't have a parrot. I could enjoy these. I mean, they're not they're not horrible. They taste like a health food. I'm gonna say that. That's what they taste like. They taste Let's like try a health chocolate. food. Chocolate? Chocolate? Okay. Wow. It tastes like a parrot's birthday cake to me. <laughs> that's what it tastes like. Okay. Chocolate. Dink it. Dink it. Wait, let me get one that's got more. You want the chocolate chips? Yeah, I'm looking for chocolate chips. That's a double. Chips. I don't think you want a double. Kinda hard to Notice it. Now this. Think this one. This one smells like chocolate. Yeah. That one's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. It tastes like a health food cookie. This one is better, but it's yeah. It's not overly sweet. No, it's not. Hmm. Chewy. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I mean, it's not it's not a high-key cookie. It's not a famous Amos cookie. It's not crunchy. But, no, it's a very soft cookie. But I don't know. It's I, chewy, though. I like this one better than this one, which is kind of weird because I usually am a chocolate chip person. Well, five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients in this are, I've got the chocolate one, so that's the one we like the most, right? Ground mm -hmm. sunflower seeds. Okay. We like that one more than the chocolate chip, right? Yeah. So ground sunflower seeds, eggs, butter, RSPO certified palm oil, which I do not have a problem with palm oil. Palm oil is like having coconut oil. Okay. Chocolate chips, which are made with sugar, and then unsweetened chocolate, 
cocoa butter, soy lecithin, natural vanilla extract. Then we have xylitol, so keep these away from your dogs. So don't give it to a a pet's birthday party. Yeah, erythritol, um, and then cassinate, which is a milk protein, ground pumpkin seeds, water, cocoa powder, salt, vanilla extract, and then contains 2% or less of organic gum acacia, organic guar gum, baking powder, uh, inulin, and which is a, di- a dietary fiber, and then natural flavoring. So same here. Okay. Same ingredients. What I'm looking for is where's the cocoa? Because these are yeah. double chocolate. This doesn't say cocoa, but then I don't expect But that it. should have your chocolate chips. But this does not say cocoa. Oh, yeah, it does. I'm sorry. I must have missed it. I must have said it. Don't remember saying it. It says cocoa powder. All right. Right after water and salt. Okay. So, honestly, the ingredients are really good. Okay. So, they do have the chocolate chips do have sugar in them. It's unsweetened chocolate and then sugar and then cocoa butter. And each cookie... Jumping ahead to number two is, or not each cookie, four cookies. So it's a serving. A four cookies is a serving. I'm going to let you get into that, but there's two grams of sugar per a serving, but that sugar is also going to come from other stuff. So there's not much sugar, and I'm going to tell you, like each cho- each cookie has like maybe two or three mini chocolate chips. So why don't we get into number two? Number two, but I have to just take a minute and look at their labeling because it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of confusing to me. Okay. Because you have this here looks like an old-timey bakery. Right. But then you've got, like, workout equipment. Like, yeah, somehow this is fueling your workouts. So I'm not I'm not sure I, I'm... I guess you're looking at... Yeah, and that doesn't it's like really... like barbells with your cookies. <laughs> They're trying to appeal to somebody, but I'm not sure who. So, so does, number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? No, it does say it's grain-free, not too sweet, and nut-free, mm-hmm. which, is, which is a concern. Some people can't have the right. almond meal. Right. All right, so 120 calories per serving, and a serving is four cookies, which is pretty generous. Right. 11 grams of fat. Four grams of protein, eight total carbs mm-hmm. in a serving, two dietary fiber, and four sugar alcohol. So that's two net carbs per, per serving. serving. At least it's so not it's a half a net carb per sweetened cookie. Sweetened by the fiber so much as the there's very little fiber. Sugar, there alcohol. is really very little sugar. I mean, yeah. most of it's coming from your sugar alcohol, and then your carbs. There is carbs in sunflower seeds. There is carbs in pumpkin seeds. There yeah. is carbs. You know, in your your xylitol, there's carbs in, you know, cocoa powder. So overall, I'm going to say the ingredients are really good. Like, I'm actually really impressed by it. Yeah. Is there anything on the back? Just because you're avoiding carbs doesn't mean you need to avoid cookies. So go ahead and satisfy your sweet tooth with this buttery, delicious, not too sweet treat. We still got we got paper towel roll and and boxing it, trunks. It doesn't really make sense. And but bocce I still, balls. I don't know. I still like the label. I, that part doesn't make sense to me. But okay, I, I like this font. Number three. How do they taste? No, you don't like them. So no. I'm not. I'm, again, like I don't want to say they're not horrible. Like we've had a lot worse. I mean, we've had oh, like, we've had terrible sweet yeah. cookies that are horrible. Yeah, they taste like a health food cookie. That's what they taste like. This absolutely. Tastes like you're eating your 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 bird's food, but with chocolate chips. <laughs> and that almost tastes like nothing to me. Like, I don't taste a really rich chocolate to it. No, they're not rich and they're not sweet, but I kind of like that. Nailed it. I won't overdo <laughs> it. So, I don't know. I, I don't think they taste horrible, but they're not like, they're not a super sweet, like, dessert cookie. They're like, hey, I want something. I think they're really good for, like, people who have nut allergies and things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's an option, so you could say you had a cookie. Yeah. Number four, how much do they cost? Okay, so here is where you might want to be like, I don't know. So I did get them on sale. The normal price, though, is $6.99 no. per package. So $7 per package. No. And, like, how many cookies? Is, which is a lot cheaper than a lot of the keto cookies. So yeah. there's six servings, four, that's for 24 cookies? Yeah. So 24 cookies, it's costing you $7. When I bought it, it was on sale for $5, and then there was your 10% Amazon Prime discount. So it was a little bit cheaper that way. Uh, but it's definitely going to make you think, like, do you want to pay $7 for a health food-style cookie? 
if you're okay to have almond flour and stuff. I think it's an interesting use of sunflower seeds, though. I think that, yeah, if, I mean, they just don't have the flavor down. I think it's cool that we have a new material to use or a new ingredient to use. I like the ingenuity. You know, I am all about ingenuity. Mm. But let's make it good. Let's talk about number five. Would we recommend it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say I'm You're not going to recommend it. I'm, here's what I'm going to say. If you like sunflower seeds, yeah. you're going to love these, especially these, because your first bite is sunflower seed. Like, there is no mistaking that they are made with sunflower seeds. There's just, I mean, I've had that sunflower seed nut butter. Uh -huh. It's not a nut butter. It's a seed butter. And I liked it. And you were like, yeah, this tastes like sunflower seeds, right? Well, what I would do, because I, I, I don't think that they've got some amazing consistency or mouthfeel, I would say make yourself a little home trail mix of some sunflower seeds mixed with some like Lily's baking chocolate chips. Okay. And you will achieve the same results for, <laughs> for a lot less money. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's my that's my two cents. I will recommend it if you really just absolutely want a cookie and you or your children or somebody wants to feel like they can fit in and they have a nut allergy. There you go. And they can't have flour. So you can definitely feel like if you're used to health food kind of desserts, you're going to love this. Yeah. If you're used to something like a high key cookie, it's not anywhere close. It's not as sweet. It's got more of that texture of the chewy Entenmann's cookies you used to buy in the box. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's interesting. And that's why we bought it. Because it was interesting. Well, and they had me at Fancy Pants as a name. I think that is the greatest name for a company ever. I, I think it should be a jean brand, too. Because <laughs> I would totally wear Fancy Pants. Wouldn't you wear Fancy Pants? I don't know about that one. I would. Let us know down in the comments section if you've ever tried Fancy Pants Cookies. Fancy Pants. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we taste something Fancy Pants, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.